the last stand of two great powers in the Mediterranean. After the Second Punic War, Hannibal had not lost his popularity. He was even elected to the highest political office. But after two lost wars, Carthage was in a difficult situation. Thanks to his reforms in the economy, Carthage could pay the war reparations earlier than the Romans expected. This caused fear in Rome. They knew what Hannibal was capable of and decided to eliminate him. Hannibal managed to escape at the last minute. Carthage's bad situation was taken advantage of by Numidia, a Roman ally that attacked Carthage's border. This provoked Carthage, and they attacked Numidia. Rome came to Numidia's aid. The Third Punic War began. The Carthaginians knew they would not win this war, so they soon requested a truce. The Romans demanded that the people of the city of Carthage must leave. The Carthaginians refused, and the Romans began to besiege the city. In the final months of the war, every corner of the city was fought for. Every quarter, every street, every house. In the end, the city was completely destroyed. Of the 700,000 people, only 50,000 remained, and they were sold into slavery. All others fell in battle defending their hometown. Rome definitively destroyed its opponent in the Mediterranean and became the ruler of the entire Mediterranean Sea. All three Punic Wars are an interesting story of determination, despite various successes and failures.